In this video, I'm going to be reviewing a children's book that was drawn by one of the most talented illustrators working in the industry today. Hey guys, Craig here, back for another installment of Art Book Review. And this month's book review is going to be on the art of Amelia Zubak. Now, when I first started this segment on my YouTube channel, my intention was to review all of the art books from all of my favorite artists. But as I started going through my art book library, I began to realize that many of my favorite artists hadn't published portfolio art books yet. In fact, some of my favorite art books weren't actually art books at all. They were children's picture books. So I decided that if I was truly going to pay tribute to all of those artists who, in my opinion, are the greatest artists in the world, I was going to have to include children's picture books as part of my art book review segment. And I can't think of a better children's picture book or a better artist to start doing this with than the storybook The House of Lost and Found, which is illustrated by Amelia Zubek. Let's check it out. When I first saw Amelia's artwork from this book, I had no idea it was a children's storybook. It was actually the cover illustration that I saw first. After Googling like crazy trying to find the artist who created this incredible work of art, I finally found Amelia's Instagram page. It was only then that I learned that the image was just a small part of an amazing children's picture book. But to my dismay, I soon learned that the book was in Swedish and it was only available in Sweden where Amelia was from. Amazon didn't carry it at all in North America. So it took a couple of months before it was finally released in English in both the US and Canada. And when I finally got this book, I'm telling you, it was definitely worth the wait. What really blew my mind the first time I flipped through this book was when I read that all of these illustrations were done with pencil crayons. I'd never seen pencil crayons used like this before. Every single illustration in this book could be sold as a standalone work of art. The illustrations are that good. The storyline of this book is very touching and heartfelt. Although many of the images are very dark, they still manage to come across as extremely warm. Amelia's use of light in these illustrations is amazing. And the way she makes her illustrations look worn and aged really gives this book the feel of an old dusty photo album. I flipped through the pages of thousands of children's picture books and I can honestly say that you'd be very hard pressed to find another book on the shelves today that is illustrated to this level of artistic mastery. Now if you're anything like me and you're an avid lover of children's picture book illustration art and you don't have a copy of this book in your collection, then you are seriously missing out. I have no doubt that The House of Lost and Found will definitely go down in history as being one of the most beautifully illustrated children's picture books of all time. Well, there you have it folks. Definitely one of my favorite illustrated children's picture books of all time, The House of Lost and Found, illustrated by Amelia Zubek. And if you'd like to add this beautifully illustrated children's book to your own personal collection, I have an affiliate link to it in the description below. And if you do purchase this book, I promise you, it will definitely become one of your favorite children's books as well. Now, I've had a few people comment on what their favorite art books are, but I'd be interested to know what your favorite illustrated children's picture books are. So if you have a favorite children's picture book, let me know in the comments section below. And it doesn't have to be just because of the illustrations. It can be because of the story as well. If you'd like to see more of my art book reviews, I'll have a link to the playlist at the end of this video. And if you're new to my channel and you're not quite sure what it's all about, then check out my playlist on how to monetize your hobby. You can find a link to it right here. Until next time, take care.